This is a digital oscilloscope. It's a very valuable tool that lets you look at voltage signals and circuitry in real time. Once it starts up, you'll see a screen like this. The first thing you want to do is connect a probe. They go in these two ports here, this yellow and this blue port here. We've got the yellow, yellow ring flag on this one, so we'll put it in the yellow port. To put it in, you'll line up these little ridges with the ridges on the port. Push it in, it'll feel like a spring. Turn it a quarter turn to the right and release. And th this port, then this probe will feed into number one on the screen, this yellow one here. The probe consists of two parts. One end is an alligator clip. You'll attach this to the ground in your circuit, the common ground. And the other is a hook, which has this retractable sheath. And you will attach this to wherever, whatever part of the circuit you're monitoring. If you look at the three pins here, for example, say this is ground and this is what you're monitoring, you'd clip, you put the clip on ground and you hook, use the hook and attach that to what you're monitoring. So the first signal we'll be looking at will be a simple square array of that. Is, comes from the device itself. It's used for calibrating the probes. This bottom one here is ground, so I will put the clip on that. And this, and this one here is a signal. And so I will hook that. This is the square wave that the machine is outputting. This axis is time, and this axis is voltage. So here you can see that it outputs a high voltage, five volts to be specific, for a certain amount of time, then zero volts for a certain amount of time, five volts, zero volts. You can change the scale that you view here with this dial and this dial. This dial changes the height sensitivity. And this dial changes the width that you see. As I turn this knob, you'll notice that this number here changes. And what this number means is how much each one of these boxes represents, how many volts that each of these boxes represents. So at this point, the wave is one box tall, so it has a amplitude of five volts. As I turn this knob, you'll notice that this number changes as the width sensitivity changes. And this represents the amount of time that one of these divisions represents. So, at here, each one of these boxes is 500 microseconds long, and so the pulse, the wavelength of the pulse here is one millisecond. 500 microseconds high, 500 microseconds low, and the entire wavelength is one millisecond. Uh, we will now look at the signal of a more interesting, of a more interesting nature, and it'll be the output of a microphone. So we'll hook it up to the probe, and we'll put ground here, and hook the hook here. We're looking at the signal that's coming out of here. And if I sing into this, we will see something here. And as you probably can see, it's pretty small, so we'll increase the sensitivity. Now we can see something, but now it's very high, so we can use this position knob to lower to lower the line. So it's a bit easier to see, and we'll make the divisions even smaller. My divisions are now 50 millivolts. So it's the whole waveform's got about an amplitude of 50 millivolts. Well, at this point, we can only see maybe one or two waves in 
on the screen, so I will adjust the knob so we increase what each of these boxes is worth. Do and that way we can see more waves on the screen at one time. Do so the plan is instead of a microphone, we'll be monitoring the output of a brain sensor with, with this oscilloscope and theoretically we'll be able to record it and use that as data.